Here is everything you need to know about Fortnite Stretch Resolution, presented by Fortnite Master. In this video, we explain how to play on Stretch Resolution in Fortnite, a notable trend in the community and especially in the pro scene, and cover the main reasons why people choose to play on Stretch Res. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. There are two steps to setting up stretch resolution. Remember, this is PC only, and before either of these steps, you need to make sure you have Fortnite set to full screen. The first step involves editing your Fortnite configuration files to your desired resolution. To do so, you need to access your local app data folder by typing percent local app data percent into the search bar on your desktop, or alternatively, clicking the Windows key and R simultaneously to open the run console, then type in percent local app data percent and click OK. From here, access your configuration settings by clicking the Fortnite game folder followed by saved, config, Windows client, and finally, open the game user settings file. Opening the file in Notepad works best. In the file, there are four settings you need to pay attention to. Resolution size X, resolution size Y, last user confirmed resolution size X, and last user confirmed resolution size Y. You want to edit the numbers for these settings to match your desired resolution. In this video, for example, we show changing the settings to a resolution of 1440 by 1080. Once you're done, make sure to save the file. The second step involves adding a custom resolution to your desktop. This step is slightly different for NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards. We'll be explaining the process for NVIDIA cards in this video. For those with AMD cards, you can find a link in the video description that explains this step for you. First, open up your NVIDIA control panel, which can be found by right-clicking on your desktop or by clicking the small arrow on the bottom right corner of your desktop near the volume control. Head over to the change resolution selection under the display dropdown. From here, you can choose a different resolution or add a custom resolution. If you don't see your desired resolution, click Customize, Create Custom Resolution, and change the first two boxes to match what resolution you want. Test and save the resolution. Finally, make sure the box is checked and click OK, and you'll be able to choose that custom resolution alongside the other PC resolutions. After you get the custom resolution set up, the last step is to choose the Adjust Desktop Size and Position section on the left under the same dropdown, and change the scaling mode to full screen. As an added bonus, here's how to record stretch resolution with OBS Studio. If you don't plan on recording or streaming, you can ignore this step and move on to the next section, Benefits of Stretch Resolution. When you first open OBS after stretching resolution, it doesn't know how to capture the stretch screen, so you'll generally see an unwanted black bar. To fix this, right-click Game Capture, choose Transform, then Edit Transform. Change your bound box type to Stretch to Bounds, then change the bound box size to your native resolution. Now we're going to cover the benefits of switching to stretch resolution and dissolve one of the most prominent myths surrounding this phenomenon. The two main benefits of using stretch resolution are an increase of vertical field of view and higher frames per second. We'd say the increased vertical field of view is what applies most to most pro players when it comes to using stretch resolution. Fortnite is a game with a lot of situations in which being able to see more along the y-axis of your screen can come in handy, namely build fights or turtling situations. It can help with increased awareness of what's going on above and below you, and may even let you get some shots off that would normally be too hard of an angle. The other main benefit is higher FPS, which can be a big deal for those with less than ideal gaming rigs, or even those looking to increase performance while streaming. This can be explained with pretty straightforward reasoning. Basically, your resolution refers to how many pixels are on the X and Y axis of your screen. So, changing from 1920 by 1080 to 1440 by 1080 means your computer has to display 480 fewer pixels on your X axis, leading to a slight increase in performance. Now, to dispel the myths surrounding stretch resolution, stretching your resolution in Fortnite does not increase the size of hitboxes. The idea of stretching resolution to make hitboxes bigger comes from CSGO, where stretching resolution also stretches character models. Stretching resolution in Fortnite works differently, however, because the character model is stretched, but also shrunk vertically. For more in-depth explanation with visuals, check out the link in the description. That said, many players that come from CSGO may like to use stretched because that's what they're comfortable with. And although stretch resolution doesn't increase the size of hitboxes in Fortnite, you can't argue with the fact that personal comfort can be crucial to a player's performance in-game. 
Thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be alerted whenever we release a new video. If you love our content, feel free to share it with your friends, family, distant relatives, your dog, or any other loved ones. From all of us at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.